five and six, clear the hole. Hey everyone, Nick Brick here with a Halo build. The standard issue rifle of the UNSC Army. Here is the LEGO MA-37 Assault Rifle from Halo Reach. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more LEGO Halo builds. In Halo Reach, the MA-37 is an individual combat weapon system chambered at 762 and is used by the UNSC Army, especially common during the fall of Reach. It fires in full auto. Unless you fire it in short controlled bursts, the assault rifle isn't a very effective weapon. Despite this, it's an iconic reimagining of the classic MA5B from Halo Combat Evolved. The LEGO MA37 is 32 inches long with stock collapsed, 36 and a half inches long with stock extended, and weighs six pounds. The whole build started with one specific technique, the starting point of the whole build was the 32 in the ammo counter screen. For many, many years, the LEGO fan community had techniques for a 5 plate tall alphabet and numerals. However, the go-to design for a 2 isn't very readable and needed to be reduced by one plate. So I came up with a technique that uses bracket pieces to reduce the width, and the result is a much more readable brick built number on the screen. When that technique was finalized, I moved forward with building the MA-37, packing it with as much detail and as many functions as I could. Let's cover the functions first. I was able to get a lot of them. Functions include a moving trigger with a safety button that blocks the trigger, sliding and locking charging handle that opens the chamber, closing dust cover, removable magazine, adjustable stock, and a light up ammo counter using brick stuff LEDs. Next, let's go through some of the details and major sections of this build. Out in front, we have the barrel and the flashlight. Various tires and wheels make up the shape of the muzzle device. And in fact, the shroud in front is pretty hollow. So if you look from above, you can see the barrel continue. The simulated shape of the barrel continues through these slots. Maybe it would have been easier and sturdier to use black tiles or black bricks here instead, but why make it easy if it's better to make it good? I chose to continue to the cylindrical shape instead. Looks much more interesting that way. Above this exposed barrel is one of the most recognizable details of any Halo assault rifle. The angle of these panels are maintained with hinge plates and are removable to access the battery for the ammo counter lights. On the Reach AR specifically, there is a faded pale yellow stripe on the middle panel. The pale yellow of the LEGO Fiat 500 kit was perfect for this detail. Moving back down, the front grip was the part designed after the ammo counter. In game, it has a textured grip, and to make this come to life, I use gray tread links. It's a detail that pops and also feels really good in your hands. Like the use of the tread links, another fun parts usage was a strange curved windscreen piece on the charging handle. It doesn't really line up with any other piece besides itself, but placed bottom to bottom like this it has such a cool shape. Although the Reach AR doesn't have an MA5B style charging handle that locks upward, I like the idea enough to take a little creative liberty. So this charging handle works just like the MA5B, or more familiarly, the MP5 submachine gun. Both the safety button and the trigger are spring loaded by shock absorber pieces. And as you can see, in safe mode, the trigger cannot be pulled. Honestly, this safety button is just so satisfying to press. Could do it all day. When a thumb hole grip has a large enough thumb hole, looking at you, the boo. It's easy to make stable, feels awesome, and looks awesome. Better than any pistol grip, in my opinion. In fact, there's lots of things on Halo guns that are not exactly convenient for a real shooter, or are just so aesthetically pleasing. Thumb holes, bullpups, ammo counters, 
Not the most practical, but looks better than any real gun. Speaking of bullpups, surprise, the assault rifle is yet another Halo bullpup. Bungie must have loved them back in the day. Anyway, let's look at some of the detail in the magazine. The magazine has details like a bullet on top, some gripping points on the bottom, and simulated grooves right here. Do you recognize the pieces here? They're road sign pieces. The road signs have a rough texture to them, and the magwell is barely the right width. So sliding the magazine in creates a different sound from other LEGO gun builds. The final part to cover is the stock. The in-game model of the MA-37 suggests an extendable stock, so I decided to add that as a function. It can extend the butt plate out to four and a half inches from the collapsed position. Also, as you can see, it has some of the more complex shaping on the whole build. And here is a banana for scale. Also for scale, since I still have it built, the MA-5D assault rifle from Halo 5, built back in 2015. Halo Reach is, aesthetically, my favorite game in the Halo series, and a lot of that comes down to the rugged look of the UNSC weapons. I was inspired to start this build because of the Halo Infinite assault rifle, but the more I looked at it, the more I realized I liked the Reach look more. Loaded with details and textures pretty well reflected from the game in LEGO form, and with plenty of functions to show off, this is one of my favorite Halo LEGO models I've made so far. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, let's shoot some rounds through the MA-37 with some edited magic. Before I go, I wanted to thank you all for 40,000 subscribers. I build what I want when I want, which really isn't the way to get a popular YouTube channel. But I'm grateful 40,000 of you think that's A-OK. -okay. Thank you for watching. I've been building LEGO in life-size scale since 2002, Halo specifically since 2006, and on YouTube since 2012, and I don't see it stopping anytime soon. Subscribe for more LEGO gaming builds. Also, like, comment, and share if you enjoyed the LEGO MA-37 Assault Rifle from Halo Reach.